He just like. <laughs> Solid. One more. One more. One more. One more. Clear, just. There it is. Hey. There it is. You need like a, is it a good clap? Just... Wait, one more. One more at the same time. Ready? Three, two. Oh. <laughs> that's, one. <laughs> that's crazy. You never can't... the one. That's crazy. Yeah, that's. That... Three, two, one. Hey, yo. Four hey. guys with a mic taking on the world. Yes, so I just can't f-ing speak. Like. Good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Yes, uh, there salt, it is. Uh, salt, uh, yeah, yeah. Salt. And we are back on another day. <laughs> <laughs> on another beautiful evening. We're on the go. <laughs> Listen Buddy with the Go-Go. Give us a little intro. With the Go-Go Squad. All right, so we got some, you know, the boys here, but I'm going to do, we'll do a formal intro for y'all. So with us, we have some Texan entrepreneurs and fraternity oh. brothers who find it, founded their business in Lubbock while attending Texas Tech. Their journey started with a strong bond formed during pledging uh, within Gamma Beta and National Fraternity Incorporated. Today, their business has expanded to three active locations in Lubbock, Abilene, and Dallas, showcasing their growth and success. Come Please on. give a warm welcome to Go Go Geary, the, bo- the, 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 the brains behind Go Go Geary. Yeah. Ian and Harry. Thanks, Hamza. Yes, sir. Thank you, Hamza. Yeah. Bro, this feels surreal being here with them. Does it hey, not? Like, it's kind of wild. I also want to give a shout out though, off off camera, Tim and Tim and Jacob. Yes, sir. <laughs> the the beautiful cooks over there in the kitchen, yes, sir, whipping it up the, over there, making it happen. Over the there, muscle, the muscle, making it look real, making it look real easy. Hey, sure. man, but we're at Go Go Geary in Richardson. We're if y'all in- have never been here, what are you, you doing? You're missing bro? out. Yeah, if y'all fly never been in, here, take a Ian taxi, has. get an Uber. <laughs> Plug Pull the up. address. Can we plug the address? You got to get the address on, unlocked? 17421 Preston Road, Dallas, Texas, 75252. There it is. Yes, there's oh, open we Tuesday the through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. There you go. Uh, sir, uh, some awesome. young professionals in the house. No kizzy. Yes, sir. How old are you two? Uh, I just turned 23 last month. Sure. Hey. 24, I'm getting older, you know. Look at that. Yeah. 20s. We Some all young there. business owners. Some young entrepreneurs. Y'all making me feel old, man. Making the dream happen. Keep Us 25 are alive. Making him feel super old. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass. I thought we left that in college, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Speaking of college, y'all y'all four. Y'all four, have, y'all went to college. Yeah. They actually, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Them. Where, where, where was it? Back in the old east, in the land of the nothing? East? Oh, my bad. West. West, 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 West Texas. Texas. You feel me right there? West Texas, West Texas. baby. He's Throw up the doves. 806. 806. 806. Uh, I've been there one time. How was it for like four years? Five? How many years were y'all there? Five. Uh, I was there for three. Four. Okay. I, I was there. I was there for a minute. I was there for a minute. <laughs> Why are you not telling a number though? Uh, you, got the, you got the paper though. Hey, oh, five and, yeah, five and a half or six oh, years. You was having fun. Yeah, yeah, I was, you was talking little, like he was about to say I was seven having or eight. Having fun. Yeah. No, no. Hey, I was but he got the engineering fun. degree. It's not a race. Right. Right. It's a marathon. There you go. Right. Hey, the, average, average, the average at yeah. Tech yeah. is six years. I was so you're gonna, actually beating the average. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like the average nowadays is probably even like maybe pushed to like seven What's the average? The average is seven? Six. Fact checker? Six. It's six, yeah. That's well, true. I'm saying with the generation of kids now, with ah, like dude, TikTok just and the brain rot, the, they're TikTok not and yeah. the brain rot, the skibbity toilet kids, they're they're not graduating <laughs> for like a TikToks. decade. Hey, <laughs> no. Those are going to be your doctors. Huh? Those are gonna not be your doctors. my doctors. I watched him. Not my doctors. I was watching him scrolling on TikTok. He puts it in double double time. Bro, yeah. He puts it's like 1.5 speed you. just oh, to yeah. watch TikToks. I'm like, it's yeah, already like, bro, it's taking too long. Those receptors are fried. Dude, they're fried. They're so good. It's so bad. Now nah, back to Lubbock though. That's where this idea was founded, right? That's where it all started. Like, how did you guys like come up with that in the first place? Like, what sparked it? Well, so at the time we were in the fraternity and we'd kind of done our thing for a year. You know, after you cross, I'm sure these guys know you have a little fun. But at the yep. end of that, it feels a little bit meaningless, right? Because you're you're oh. not really working towards a communal goal. You're mm. just kind of having a good time. So we wanted to do something more impactful, and we thought the best way to do that would be to start a business together. Yeah. And we ended up choosing the food industry against everyone's recommendations because yeah. we thought it would be the most difficult challenge we could kind of embark on as a group to kind of grow as people and then to get to that higher level. Boy, yeah. and you make hey. it in the food? <laughs> yeah, Give man. them a clap. Yeah. Like, what? A, what like, Broke it down. Oh, man. man. Hey. What? You speak okay, so well. You speak response. so well. I can speak. To, I can listen to you all day, Ian. <laughs> now that's a good point you make. Food industry is one of the toughest. Oh, y'all are out here, man. Three locations, right? 
three. Yep, three more to come ready. soon. Hey, and you know, like we we you. developed vast amount of menus already too. Yeah. So it took you know a lot of research and development, also like going through the process of you know failure and also like trying to make yep. something out of nothing. So. Could y'all speak on some of these failures? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. So oh, I please. mean, we, we've basically this has been an insane journey from the beginning. We decided to start a. a food franchise with no experience in the food industry. Lit. So obviously, you know, there was a bunch of issues. We yeah. first launched our trailer in March of 2023 and nothing worked. We basically spent like 10 can repairs the first week because like uh, the trailer froze due to bad weather. We oh, didn't know you no. had to like weatherproof these things. So <laughs> and we sense. basically yeah. opened it up like a day before we're going to open. Everything under the sink is destroyed. The pipes are broken. The hot water heater is broken. Um, it was a nightmare. And the yeah. and you got to keep in mind, the weather in Lubbock is also just, it's like everything it's, how it I'm normally is. Desert, it's like worse. Baby. It's just like, it's like 10, not, not 10, 10 times, times but like yeah. five times worse. I, I feel think like. it's like uh, how they say Texas weather is kind of bipolar. Yeah. I think Lubbock is like the clear Super. definition. Yeah, yeah, it's like the eye of the storm. It's yeah, like right absolutely. in the center of that. Like, <laughs> isn't everything the eye of the storm strange. like the safest? No, I don't. I think that's like. Wouldn't a, that make sense? Is that fact? Well, can, can, yeah, can we get can a fact, fact check on the eye of the storm? <laughs> He's not wrong. If you're in the middle of the eye right. of the storm, you're over here, if you're in the middle of a tornado, around. you're fucked. No, yeah. no, the eye I've driven of the through a storm tornado is like is the it's clear. Yeah, there's no. But it's like you have to stay in the eye. You had to move with. Yeah, the eye, but know? the tornado's moving, so like. Yeah, you're nah, you're see, chill out now. Don't deep. Don't just try to. All right. On oh, land, it's, it's safe. safe. On ocean, it's not. Okay. I feel like next podcast in the heart of the tornado. <laughs> Literally, just like right there. <laughs> we just gotta go tornado, tornado chasing. We're going tornado chasing. Yeah, yeah, the storm watchers now. Storm watchers, nah, twisters. I would never be I'm a not storm down. chaser, bro. No, Sersky. Me neither. So okay, so then did that like? So what did y'all do? So y'all couldn't open up. Yeah, so we, we just figured it out. You know, we called like 40 plumbers. We finally found someone who would work on the food truck. We like worked overnight to make it happen and we still open the next day. Hell yes. Hey. Oh. Hell yes. Adversity. Yeah. One thing about them, they'll get it done. They don't get it done. They don't get it done. Come on. I feel like that's been like a common theme throughout yeah. this journey is we try something, we don't know what we're doing, we fail, and then instead of quitting, we kind of decide like, okay, what do we have to do to fix this? Let's be objective. Let's look at it like from an external perspective and figure out how can we solve this and how can we make this work with the limited resources we have. Yeah, yeah sure. and sometimes you just got to pivot and you're never going to learn what you have to fix until you actually go out there and mess up, you know? Yeah, then you like, okay, we can make this better over here, make yeah. this better over here. Yeah. So we can kind of speak to that yeah, too, like say, with this podcast. Yeah, so literally. We kind of just pulled yeah. up and Come we on. thought- the first day was just the first sweet. episode, man. We didn't have any Dark. lighting. We are we were recording on. We didn't know how to record. Like, <laughs> we're like bro, the sun's hitting us right yeah, here. We like, had all no the frame looks so what good. We, were doing we sat it, down for forty it's, minutes. It's tucked in the back of our hard drive. It's <laughs> never going to see the light of day. No <laughs> lights. I was deleted. Oh, it was deleted. Yeah, it was deleted. There's oh, a lot damn, of things that just got deleted. A lot of things got deleted. I've erased so many things. Yeah, but so yeah, kind of to that point. Yeah, I know. I I feel like we kind of can relate to that. Where it's like you're kind of learn. You won't. You you can't. I think I said it on another part too, but it's like you won't know what the right or like you won't know what the right thing is until you do like the wrong thing. Mm, hey, the fear I said it of dif- failure. I said it's like it the fear of failure but- is worse than actually failing. There you Definitely. go. Yeah. You there you go. Hey, you know what we say? Up. Yeah. Hey, to that, bro, that's a, let's hey. cheers to that. That's a cheers That's a today. cheers. That's a cheers. Hey. Cheers. Yeah. Had to go in for the heavy handshake. <laughs> that's a fucking cheer. And also, like, you know, basically, if giving up is not an option, like, you know, you're always going to have to push through to find some type of success. Exactly. So I actually got the business tattooed on my body. Before Honest. we open the trailer, so hey. there's oh. no no way we can give up. Oh, there's I'm no way. Out of my leg and yeah. That level you're, of man, yeah, you're like, like I can't that, look right? down and be like, oh man, I, w- you yeah. know, what could have been like. No, it's, it's like now you're, you yes. get it. Now that level of manifestation, you, you know, don't make something happen regardless. You know, <laughs> you, you, you just oh, opened yeah. up a can of worms by no, telling him about the say, tattoo. Didn't we, no, we already said this. Listen, buddy, tattoos. We LBs. swear to God, I said. Hey, that, where y'all getting at? No, I was geez. saying the L on one cheek and the B on the other cheek. That's fire. crazy. I just want just something right here. really relaxed, and you just, man. You know, whenever it's something really chill. How about y'all just like each take a couple of letters and then, you know, everyone gets one on the <laughs> We all oh. together L-I-S. like put our hands together. <laughs> it says listen. No, we just get finger tats. Oh, yeah. L-I-S- That'd be crazy. L I S N. Listen. And B U D Y. Buddy. Yeah. It doesn't need to be grammatical. Okay. Listen, buddy. <laughs> Booty. Listen, buddy. But no, so I was going to say, so... Oh, buddy, one on, on one hand. For the... I guess for the people who don't know, because we were talking about the food, but I guess for the people who don't know, like, what... what, what Can you kind of describe the food? Like, what, what kind of food is it? What food are we eating? Yeah, yeah. so we initially started with uh, just the idea of we wanted to sell food, right? We, we just wanted to provide something to the customers, to the community. Um, yeah. And we actually... Ashwin was there when we originally tried to do sandwiches. Yeah. And it was a total failure. It was really bad. It was good, um, good though. Bro, <laughs> good I remember... 
Twitter. <laughs> Shit, bro. I literally, it's like 7.30 p.m. on a Tuesday. I'm, I just got out of the gym and Ian and Harry calls me and they're like, yo, we're trying to do some shit. Come over to my place, right? <laughs> I have like other than that, I have no information. I was like, "All right, fuck it." Free food, say less. Pull up, right? <laughs> they're all standing around Ian's and Harry's like kitchen island. Like, there's like multiple different things on the counter, like fried katsu chicken and this and that. And I was like, "Bro, what are y'all doing?" And they're like, "They're like, let us cook." They're like, literally, <laughs> oh, they're literally, <laughs> literally. I, I like that, right, literally. And you know what? They did cook. <laughs> they did cook. <laughs> they did cook. So. That that's crazy. That's why I was saying it, it feels surreal being here because we saw like how it started and in the crib. Guys, yeah, and you guys tried like several different things, I, right? Yeah. So yeah, so we tried a couple different things, and we eventually settled on onigiri just because we felt like there wasn't a big representation in the American market, and, mm -hmm. and it's you know in, in Japan it's like a normal thing that people eat every day, yeah. and mm -hmm. we thought that there could be value we could provide to the American consumer, okay. um, especially if we could fusion it with some flavors people are more used to in America to kind of create a, a hybrid that fits better into the audience we're going into absolutely okay. yeah i'm like look oh yeah go ahead, go ahead and also like you know when we first started like we knew that onigiri wasn't going to be like a huge hit at the beginning mm. just because like you need uh brand recognition also like market recognition yeah. so we partnered it up with a uh, korean corndog brand which was seen as a rise market boost in the u.s so far mm -hmm. and as you can see there's like a korean corndog place in every corner now in yeah, dallas so, so. okay yeah, and w with Onigiri too, we basically try to identify a market that we could then take the entire market of, right? Because like with a company like this, the only way we really make money is if we IPO or we sell it to private equity once we hit a market capitalization. Yep. So we're currently the second largest Onigiri chain in the U.S. Hey. Uh, the first is actually venture backed. So we we oh, bootstrapped wow. this up to this point. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Did that? Hey, oh, gunshot. Oh, that's so crazy. The evil. No. <laughs> Come on. I can't hear it, but no, I'm there. I'm there. Hey, we're there. We're <laughs> there. so locked on, in. Now. No, I heard it. Oh God. Oh, yeah, but no, yeah, I think yeah, onigiri wise, I think y'all got it. Y'all got it down because I'm like I'm looking at the menu right here. Like you literally got anything under the sun that you can a think nice of. Like, yeah, thank and you. It, yeah, and I think also, and I think the y'all like the way y'all like the, with the advertising too, how you make the it's little, um, yeah, it's like yeah. and it's like I feel like that's what people need. Like they when they need to see something, they need to you catch their eye, community. and like that catches mm -hmm. their eye. You know, mm -hmm. it's like it's simple, but it's like oh, those things are cute. You can make like little plushies out of those, and y'all oh, had man. the. I got that little thing right there, a little bow, little, bow little thing, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. that is. Yeah. That looks like a Pixar character. Speaking right? on the food really fast, I just want to give a quick shout out to Jacob Nading in the kitchen yeah. over there for cooking up those recipes. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to the gang. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Which those two went to school with us as well. We're yeah. all in the same fraternity. Right? Y'all want to pop up real quick? Just do yeah. a little quick little. Y'all want to pop in? Pop up right there. Pop hey. in. Hey. What's up? Pop in. Right there in the mid. Right there in the middle. Hey, right there. I'll give you a mic. Yeah. Yeah. One of y'all on this side, one of y'all on this side. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> oh yeah. What's yeah. up guys? <laughs> this is this is Tim. I'm Tim. This is this Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> so do you guys want to maybe say what you know y'all's role like what, what, how y'all are yeah. fit into Gogo Geary? Yeah, I can go first. Um so right now I'm the head chef essentially. Um it's pretty much what I've been doing. I also run this kitchen, this location right here. It's been very stressful, but it's really fulfilling there you go hey yes chef, yes, chef. <laughs> i'm the guy they can count on to go around and fix stuff yes <laughs> yeah, you, need, you need one of those guys tim yeah. is also yeah. our, our head of advertising and oh. digital media oh, yeah that's yeah. Awesome. So, Absolutely. You know, he's basically vp of the company oh yeah so. there you go he said he said not to not to you know he says he's a humble guy yeah yeah, yeah i was I'm like he said, i don't want to Hey. And and you you can Bro tell, man, yeah. the man works out. And also, <laughs> if you want to find someone that makes the best rice balls for this company, is that man right there? Sheesh. Sheesh. Every time I walk in, I see Bro. Onigiri master. Oh onigiri master. What's I your? I stay molding. Tim, what's your what's your personal favorite onigiri? Personal favorite is actually Harry's rice ball. I have my own, but it's just not as good. It's the President's rice ball, and it has a uh, katsu gogo -go sauce, which is like a kimchi mayo, and um, wagyu. It's our uh, beef bulgogi marinated wagyu. That shit slaps. That shit slaps. That shit's crunchy as hell. Awesome. I can second that. Awesome. Tim, I have a question for you. I heard yes, uh, I heard the shape for the onigiri. They got the mold from your uh, lat spread. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all credit to me. I inspired this business. <laughs> Tim, where do you mold. work out? Wherever lets me, man. Oh, God. You know, different okay. cities, okay. different places. You guys go, all go to the same gym, right? Yeah. Yeah, we go to John Reed right now in Dallas. Shout, shout out Absolutely. John Reed. Shout out John Reed. I, I can't forget about the, the. I can't basketball. afford to go there, but. Hey. <laughs> hey what gym you go to? 
<laughs> yoga, <laughs> yoga teacher? Yeah, Te- yeah, I, you know. Texas Family Fitness. What's I go to, yeah, I, you know. I go on walks. <laughs> I go on walks. <laughs> I go on walks. <laughs> go on walks. Hell yeah, dude. That man strolls. I need I need to get in the gym, though, low-key. Yeah. Like, I see Tim's, <laughs> I see, I'll see <laughs> Tim's, like, stories, and I'm like, damn. Comes to see Tim's stories and then cry symptoms. Yeah, and sleep. pretty hey, much. Pull yeah. up. Come to John Reeves with us. <laughs> hey, I got a guest pass. Guest pass? I got Sheesh. a guest pass. <laughs> Low key, yeah, I think uh, Kyle from Nelk was there like a month ago. No yeah, way, dude, Kyle, Kyle coming in. Dude, speaking of Kyle, had he, he had a nice transformation. Like he had a solid transformation. It was, it was like 120 days, right? Kyle from Nelk. Oh, from Nelk. I was like, who's Kyle? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's still grinding. We're talking yeah, about Nelk boys. That's what out, we got shout, to. Yeah. Shout out to the Nelk boys. I was talking about the Go Go boys. We are talking about the Go Go boys. So Go Go boys, <laughs> where do we? What What's our uh, future vision like? For the next like three years, like what's our vision looking like? Okay, so let me talk about this a little bit and break mm-hmm. it down. Mm-hmm. So we set up the restaurants, right? Because mm-hmm. that was kind of like step one: is figure out how we get that first dollar, figure out how we, then we make that a scalable business. Yep. Um, and now we're kind of seeing the limit of the restaurant model, right? In terms of restaurants, are expensive to set up. We've already reduced that cost by seventy five percent, which I'll talk about later. Nice. Um, they don't make a lot of money, mm-hmm. and it's very hard to grow the business. So now, essentially, we have three locations. We have a great test model. We have one airport location in Abilene. Shout out to the city of Abilene. Oh, yeah. Uh, Abilene. We have this brick and mortar in Dallas. And then we have a food truck in Lubbock that's operating like a restaurant. Okay. So our goal for the next three months, in terms of super short term, is to figure out how to make these locations more profitable. We want to hit a, a 30% net margin, right? Restaurant industry average is probably 10%, 5 to 10%. Yeah. Okay. So this is how we're going to do that. We're basically going to set up a catering company, um, which is already set up. It's called Prestige Catering Solutions, okay. where we then cater to hospitals, major companies, and educational institutions such as universities. Uh, and we're also developing a direct consumer brand with an influencer right now. Um, it's We can talk a little bit about it. It's called Mochi Go. Hey. We're basically creating custom in-house uh, mochi pancake mixes that we actually manufacture here. So it's locally manufactured. Wow. And wow. then we're going to sell it on TikTok shop and Amazon. And then we have that influencer partnership. So she's going to obviously promote it on her platforms. We design the product around her audience. Um, and then we're just going to create like the simplest business model possible. That's like a company that you could then sell to private equity in two to three years. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My man has that. He's down. got it down, bro. He's got it oh, down to a down. science. That's lit, bro. Right? Yeah. So let's talk about like right now in three months, if we have the catering set up at each location, we have the local manufacturing set up at each location, mm-hmm. then we would look at scaling. We're looking at Denver and Austin next. Okay. Um, and at that point, we'd probably All go right. to a VC firm or some you know major institutional money and then figure out how can we become the number one Odegiri chain in the U.S., take all the market share, and then essentially in you know five years sell the company. Perfect. Okay. And then just just we live, always sell. Just ball out, travel the, the world. Then, then the next company's coming. Oh, then yeah. the next one's then, coming. Just stage one, Hamza. Yeah, right. Isn't that how it, that's what it is? We're always trying to sell. Isn't that what it always is? Like you're always trying to work to sell, or no? I don't know about work to sell. We're trying to work to create something bigger than ourselves, yeah, right? Nice. In terms of something that helps and, and adds value to people's lives. Okay. Um, that also we can obviously make money doing. Of course. Of course. Yeah, course. like providing jobs to employees, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Do you, do you want to talk a little bit about how many employees we have right now? Please. Yeah, we uh, we have around 28 employees right now across nice. the three locations. Awesome. Uh, we have uh, right now uh, three GMs that are going to be uh, salaried in. So, we, you know, we pay three salaries so far right now and then obviously hourly pay. But, you know, we at the beginning, we always try to make an incentive to, you know, bring in uh, newer employees and actually be able to retain them by, um, you know, having the tip share process that we have, as well as like giving a fair wage compared to other places that probably only give you, you know, less, comp- like most likely minimum wage. Yeah. yeah. So, Which uh, is kind of cool, too, because I, I saw that you guys were providing like opportunities for students that go to UTD and stuff like that to get jobs, too. Right. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I was going to say, so for the catering, would it be, um, you said it was prestige catering? So we're looking at two solutions right now, right? We're still in the testing phase. Um, so basically we have two companies, right? Uh-huh. Prestige catering and then obviously GoGo catering. Yep. GoGo catering would be just catering the options we have available at this restaurant. Prestige mm-hmm. catering is essentially a faceless entity that would cater just the normal catering options available in the industry. Okay. And then essentially the way that we're going to sell this is we're going to identify, right, hospitals, universities mm-hmm. and major corporations are, account for pretty much the majority of the reoccurring catering market yeah so we're going to find the decision makers at those organizations let's say an administrative assistant yeah and then we're going to contact them directly we're going to say cater with us every time you cater with us we essentially have a loyalty rewards program so for every one dollar you spend in catering you get one loyalty rewards point which you can then redeem for amazon gift cards so mm-hmm. whoever's ordering that catering can then essentially they're not spending their own money they're spending their organization's money but then they get points that they can redeem for yeah. amazon gift cards to encourage re you know reordering with us so the idea is that we could get a couple mm. of these big clients and just do caterings every week because mm-hmm. the average hospital in the U.S. spends $2.3 million mm-hmm. a year on yeah. catering. So if we could wow. get 5% of that per hospital, I mean, that's, that's you know, a six-figure yeah, business. On. Yeah, that's already a lot. Come yeah. on. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Strategy. He's thinking, bro. Yeah. No, so do you guys have – I know – I feel like Harry, I, you came over to my house one time, and you were telling me about how much money you made off of your Funkos. So, like, have y'all both have, like, a – have had a hustler's mentality while growing up? Uh, Yeah. I used to, you know, trap those little toy figurines. Bruh, for, you told me how much money you made off yeah. of your collection. I was like, gangster. So I, need I, to get I still currently it. have that collection, and it's just increased in value over right. the past couple of years. Yeah. So right. I probably have around, like, 200 Easy. Funkos. Man, I've, Man. I've seen it. Just let, let it build. Max, Just let it build. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he's always been like that. Because I remember we used to we used to have this one engineering class together. We was on FaceTime all the time, <laughs> working on homework and stuff together. Mm. But he has a lot of Funkos. He had a lot of video games. Like my man knows how to move, 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 move yeah. weight. I think yeah. the, the, that's like <laughs> the building blocks to trying to learn how to sell things. Yeah. Right. So, what about yourself? So I've been doing business in some form since I was 12 years old. Um, I had an eBay store when I was 12 selling laptops and phones. Uh, in high school, I started a couple different <laughs> businesses and then one charity. Uh, and then in college, before we started this business, I started three or four businesses that you know obviously did not succeed. I had a web and app design company um, mm. and then a couple other nonprofits and stuff like that. What's uh, this charity you set up, bro? In high school? Yeah. So it was called Sandy Paws. It was basically like a clothing line that benefited the African sand cats who oh, were wow. endangered at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Are they? Are they still? They're not endangered anymore. Oh, they're still endangered. We didn't sell any clothes. <laughs> oh, so. no, no! Shout out to Sand Cats. We shout out! Save shout the out cats. to Sand. Shout out the cats. Save the cats. Save the cats. Oh my god! Save the Sand Cats, please. Don't we also they're have still another alive. nonprofit? We do have another nonprofit that's in the works right now yeah, that I, I can't speak on. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, Future plans. It's in that's the works. Wild. Oh, so you are great. Yeah. You had the trailer food truck in Lubbock first. So that one obviously can move. I'm assuming you probably have like a s certain location you're in now there. Or is it like. So initially with the trailer, we basically we parked right uh, on university across from Texas Tech. And it was a it was a nightmare um, because we basically were moving this 6000 pound vehicle full of food and equipment every single day, twice a day, mm. uh, which was horrible. Mm -hmm. And it was not a sustainable business model. I mean, yeah. we, we probably spent. I mean, our insurance spent it, not us, thankfully. But, I mean, we, we destroyed the commissary that the trailer was in, backing out, like, three times. Oh. Really cost, uh, progressive, like, 100K. Shout out, Progressive. Shout out, um, Flow. Shout out, Shout Flow. Shout out, Flow. But so now, essentially, it's we made a deal with a co-working space. So it's parked at the co-working space, plugged into electric, uh, just set up as a restaurant, operating six nice. days. Nice. And it doesn't need to move. It just... Never. It's just yeah. stationary. So you go from there, and then you guys, was this the second location, or was Abilene first? So this has been a long journey. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> actually, do you want to talk about the trailer in Abilene? Yeah, so we actually had a trailer in Abilene um, that we uh, basically built for half of the price of the first trailer. Mm -hmm. And then we brought it to Abilene. Uh, well, at first, we brought it to Lubbock, thinking that we can start a second location, but basically ended up just siphoning customers from the mm -hmm. first location. Makes so sense. we had to pivot because we just spent, you know, tons of money on this asset. So um, I graduated at that point with my MBA. So I ended up um, saying that we could probably go off to Abilene, which is around two and a half hours away, to start another location. And you know, that's what we did. We had it operating for about, I want, I want to say like three to six months, and then after that, it just was it got really complicated with the trailer because it wasn't the same quality as it mm. was for the first one so we ended up pivoting and then uh i ended up moving back to dallas and then we got offered a location in abilene at the airport to be an was that business. because you had the trailer already too did that help at all or uh, in abilene so that helped a little bit but it was most likely because of our network and our connections in abilene and mm. we basically uh when we first got to abilene we we're trying to find a location to put the trailer in and uh you know shout out josh um this guy that owns a gym in abilene called firehouse fitness shout out josh yeah and uh josh he, raider yeah he uh he basically networked with us and was like hey dude come park it at the gym you know like i love to have y'all like y'all can just pay me minimal rent whatever works like oh, yeah and oh, we yeah. just partnered up with him parked it there for about three to six months and then after that he was like yo i got this location in abilene it's uh no rent no utilities and uh Y'all can come and cook food here and we can, you know, do a partnership here. So basically what he wanted to do is he wanted to put his vending machines in the airport. And to do that, he needed to um, be part of the contract for that location oh, in the airport. Yeah. There's, there's one kitchen in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my idea was that he'll Everybody. come in and he'll sell snacks and drinks and we'll sell the food. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's how we've been operating Abilene since November. So, and wow. both of y'all can that doesn't really like affect either. Like, right. like the, his customers his don't vendings. affect your restaurant. Your yeah. restaurant customer doesn't like affect his vending machine. Like just, yeah, that's, yeah, because like smart. he he provides the drinks, mm -hmm. so he'll uh, sell drinks drink, for us, and then we'll we'll sell food. 
Beautiful. Yeah. And those go Beautiful. hand in hand. Yeah, you, you need gotta to have a drink. Yeah, exactly. That's, how, that's the way to do it. You find that one connection, and then you're in. But I did want to ask about this location because I know I actually work right across the street. That's why I'm in all the Good time. Ass. I come here like at least once a week. I be eating good, go, eating good at Go Go, but. This location is fire because, like, there's a bunch of offices around here, a bunch of, like, uh, small business rest- restaurants around here, too. And it's, like, all sorts of food. So I just wanted to ask, like, did you guys do, like, research? I'm sure you did. But, like, how did you choose this place? Yeah. So, basically, I graduated uh, in May of last year from Texas Tech. And mm-hmm. Harry kind of had finished his time in Abilene. We were both in Dallas. We are like, trying to figure out what's the next step. And it's always been a restaurant, right? That's what we've always wanted. The trucks were a temporary solution. Yeah. Um, so we basically just started looking. We talked to a bunch of business brokers that didn't really work out. We talked to a bunch of bars about opening like a secondary location in their kitchen. And what ended up working was I set up a, uh, an Appify actor yeah. that to basically scrape Google Maps data and find restaurants that had temporarily closed or recently closed. And we found this spot, which was previously a Uzbekistani hero place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and they just couldn't find product market fit, right? So they were basically were closed down, not operating, just hemorrhaging money every month on the rent. So we came to them, we approached them, and we basically gave them like a really good offer. And nice. we were able to acquire this restaurant for, should I say the number? What's the number? Yeah. Ball out. So $30,000. <laughs> the average cost of putting a new restaurant in, in in 2023, I believe, is 175 God, oh, bro, what the and, f- Wait, so God, that, and damn. that's because you, crea- you, you created an app? So, no, no, so there's a service called Appify that lets you create these actors that can then scrape the web. So I scraped Google Ball Maps out. data to find restaurants that had closed recently to find places that were struggling but hadn't talked to a business broker and listed on Come official on, sale website. Gang. So they're just, the they're just bleeding, basically. Yeah. And yeah. then you're like... You're like, like hey, let me come save yeah, you. Yeah, I'm put Here, this bandaid on. Yeah, here's a here's nice. A they're oh. actually right over there in, yeah. in Bubla Cafe over there. Oh, nice. That's, Shout their, out. that's actually their first restaurant. Shout out, oh, Shout out Bubla Cafe. Hey, that's know. probably Good how people. they're... Bro, we need to take them to Shark Tank or something, bro. Mark <laughs> hey. Cuban, come get them. Hey, we've the actually applied okay. twice. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Dude, hey, apply a third time. Third time's a charm, bro. You never know. Hey, Mark Cuban. Hey, out. Mark Cuban, out, hop bro. on the pod. Mark Cuban, you know, hey, invest in go-go. Season, you know what you got to do. Your last season. Let him, let him get on there. Dude, Mark Cuban out here selling the Mavs, getting get, – hey, Something's going down. Going off you know, the shark. I think, shark I think gambling's but, about to get legalized in Texas. Oh, yeah. He's got a plan. I'm a big advocate. <laughs> <of gambling. laughs> hey, man, I'm good. I like sports betting. Are, are y'all sports betters at all? I uh, better than Any Vegas. Any parlays? I've done it. You dabble. No are you dabble. a parlay kind of guy or are you more like a – card game kind of guy yep. blackjack poker Both, anything that uh, makes money you know said, whatever he's a business have you ever tried somehow. to bet on horses though <laughs> have y'all ever played baccarat though what is that place? that sounds familiar what is that it's you said a, baccarat yeah. baccarat i feel oh, like that oh, 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 i don't know I, feel what like is that? That? I, think, I think that's the right motion though <laughs> i feel like that game at the casino is probably like the best odds Oh yeah. Well, what is? How do you play that? that? Yeah, what is it? Which one is it's it? It's like it's kind of complicated to explain. Honestly, is that like a card game? It's a card game, oh, it, okay. but I I can tell you the odds are like fifty fifty. Mm. So mm-hmm. if you know what you're doing, yeah. yeah. If you know See, what you're that's doing? my problem. Or unless the casino rigs it. Which yeah. No. Yeah. Interesting. Go to the casino. I'm more of like a, I'm gonna try like four times at roulette and then I'm gone. <laughs> Maybe then, hit the slot machine. Yeah. That's Dom's gonna watch you on the stop slot machine and then as you leave he he's gonna jack you. Yeah. And he's gonna win. Twenty dollars. Do you know when they yeah. when they legalize gambling in Texas? It's so gonna get so it's crazy. Over. It's gonna really? get so crazy. Oklahoma this city, already gonna lose so much money. Dallas <laughs> is already so like. I don't know if y'all felt it, but it's like it, it just feels so much more like compared to like a couple years ago. Like it's just oh, yeah. so congested like now. It feels like New York yeah. now. It's like so congested. Like literally, I was telling them earlier. I was literally. Like down the you street. You were late because you left late. All right, all right. Is that yeah. what we're doing? Like, let's That's be we're honest doing. here. That's yes, there doing. was that. No, no, no. There. You didn't see it though. You're right. You I didn't know. see it. So can I explain what it was? I saw it. I came after you. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. It was you. It was fucked. It I was like. See, I live. Yeah. I live further. I right, just tell what it is. Oh, no, <laughs> tell, right. it is. tell it. Tell okay, it. Okay, hey, hey, you got no doubt. They're the <laughs> angels. They're the best people ever. Right? They never Don't late. Too. Thank you. But, but yeah, so it? there's like literally down the street and it took me 15 minutes to get here when it's like 0.1 miles away. But there was like a car that hit another car and that car hit a cop car and then it was like flipped oh, over. Oh, on was, Preston? Like, there was like a whole thing. Yeah. There was like a whole thing, like literally Preston and Frankfurt oh, right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense because I came from that. One. Yeah. 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 Preston was backed up. Like I took Frankfurt. I came from the east. He's but yeah, no, this, this city is just like. This city cooked. Like it's even, <laughs> it's just like crazy when it's like. I literally pay money to get on the tollway, and I feel like I'm in the toll maybe, is a scam, bro. Dude, I feel like I'm in worse traffic. I'm like, I should just go on six thirty five at this point. Like, do y'all ever free. feel that? Do y'all don't feel that? Uh, I think six thirty five is pretty con- congested. It's, it's too. pretty bad yeah. too. Yeah. 
It's all bad. Dude, I'm just, it's Too just ridiculous, traffic. bro. Like, yeah, so we live like 40 traffic. minutes away from this restaurant. Y'all live like, because y'all live like in Dallas, Dallas, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, where y'all it's, live? Don't, don't dox yourself. Near White Rock Lake. Though. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's, that's close to you. That's, that's a nice area, too. Uh, that's where I have an area around that. Yeah. yeah. But like getting home from here is like probably like, what is it? What did you say, Tim? Like 30, 40 minutes of traffic? 75 is quicker? That don't sound at, right. night, at, at night, night, at night, at night, at night, night. yeah, yeah. SpongeBob. Mm. But also, it's like I feel like rush hour before was like traditional rush hour, what maybe like five to seven. I feel like rush hour now is like three to eight. Yeah. Like three to like, like there's every five hours. You add an hour. There's five <laughs> hours of traffic. We're not New York. Why Bro. the fuck is there five hours of traffic? Hey, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> We actually have the, Thanks, uh, the highest inflation. I was going to, I saw that. That's saw crazy. That. Dude, that's insane, yeah. bro. That was a joke, but yes. What are we getting? That's into? actually crazy. And I see it too, dude. I used to get go to Canes and get a three finger <laughs> combo, $6. Yo, I'm you know good. How, yo. Now it's like damn near 10 with tax. I'm that's why I you got to come to Go-Go, house. man. They're gonna, you can't yeah, beat these prices. Let me take prices. my house Gang, I went to Waffle House. It's not even worth it over there. I remember the All-Star Special used to be $7. Oh, yeah. Now it's like, what, 12 11 45 player. That's crazy. That's crazy. A seven dollars. I used to be able to walk out there with ten and have some change to throw to you know. <laughs> to who? Uh, to the white. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know they fighting back there. You don't deserve a tip. Yeah, I just needed the regular eggless, schmegler. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. little eggs and <laughs> little crazy eggs. Though. Inflation yeah. for real. We actually ate there uh, a couple months ago, and like they wouldn't let you dine in there overnight now. What? So it's like not 24 hours. It's 24 hours, but like dine-in closes at like 10. That's the post-COVID oh, world that we live in right there. Mm-hmm. And that's like, a, I feel like Bring a, a rite of passage is going to Waffle House at like folk. blacked out at 3 in the morning. Dad, oh, I, I feel like another, dude, I'm like, dude, 24-7 Walmarts need those. or Lifesavers, bro. Like I need, yes. like those. Need those to come um, back. Yeah. You know what the real question is? What's Why the real was question? there not a Waffle House in Lubbock? Facts. That is that's facts. Wasn't question. there one in Abilene, right? No, 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 or no, no, uh, Amarillo. There's yeah, one in yeah, Amarillo, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hour, how long? You got to drive like an hour and a half. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a good question. We had, a, we had an IHOP, but we didn't get a Brahms till like like towards the end of our time. Yeah, you made a whole thing about it. Yeah, it was the, when they when they opened the first Brahms. <laughs> I, I like almost cried. Like it was, <laughs> it was like, amazing. Finally, ice cream. I know, literally. <laughs> now, dude, their burgers are pretty good too. No sleep on the burgers. The burgers are There's two, two Brahms. Yeah, there's like one over there. All like. Tim, Tim is the uh, Brahms advocate, actually. He loves Brahms. I'm a Brahms. big Brahms guy. Hey. Big Brahms guy? <laughs> I'm a, I used to work at Brahms. He used to work, yeah. Literally the one like right there. Actually. Right up the street. That Brahms that's like right there? Yeah, he used to work there. Hey, brother, I probably saw you. <laughs> I had a racist run in there a couple of times. It was funny. But life. <laughs> More life. life. Hey, that's the exit. Just... For your whole life. For your whole life. <laughs> For your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of food, what were y'all's like top two like food places in Lubbock? Go to. Two? Y'all are, uh, yeah, top two or top, top three? Two. I would say three? one. I'm a big breakfast guy, so breakfast chicken run guy. has to be up there, obviously. Mm, chicken run, yeah. Right. Was that then, the one that used to be called? Um, I like breakfast too. Was it called something else before? Mm-hmm. Or the the egg? Wasn't it the yeah. egg something? Egg and I. Egg and I, right? Yeah. Egg and I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I couldn't go there because oh. egg. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's Thanks. allergic to all the good things in all life. Good fucking shit. bad, all right? I mean, yeah. and then, uh, Talk there, to my mom. There was nice. actually a restaurant um, that we actually <laughs> went to a lot and we liked. It was a African restaurant called Vizos. Oh, I think Vizos. I heard of that, actually. Yeah. Love African food. I heard with of the, that. With the, with, the, with the little, you know what I'm saying? And Jetta. What's that thing, brother? The Come on, fufu? player. Yeah. With the, and they, they go, <laughs> <laughs> you slapping the shit out of it. You know yeah. The Jolla player. I yeah, I, th- I think it was like, you, you said it was like ranked, right? Yeah, I think it was actually ranked like the one of the top 100 places in the U.S. Really? So wow. I would have to say, though, uh, Royal Indian. And Dude, Menara Cafe, low key? Low Menara key. Cafe, especially, like one man runs that spot. Yeah. It is top quality. Like That's I would put it up against one? anything in Dallas. Menara, yeah, Menara went hard. Wait, I liked Aloha back in the day. Aloha's back in the day. Oh, what oh, kind Aloha's. of? Aloha's. I totally yeah. forgot about Aloha's. We're coming yeah. for Aloha now that we got that new Hawaiian. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're coming yeah. for that. Hey. No more three-hour waits. Coming for Hawaiian. No. Oh, yeah. Dude, Aloha's the waits down, in though. Aloha was ridiculous, Yeah, the wait and they, they're not worth. they sometimes just kind of like dip out of the country. Did, yeah. yeah, bro. <laughs> I was they'd like, hello. Like, yeah, they'd, they'd be like, I'm going to be back in six weeks. I'm hungry. Aloha. I'm hungry. Like, It's crazy that Aloha's a goodbye and hello. You know which you know which place I think was a way to like over where everyone's like, oh you gotta go here Spanky's I'm like that's the most mid place I've ever <laughs> so been to. <mid. laughs> 
Dude, Thank if you me. ever had the fry, is it what is it called? The fried mid. cheese or something? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Whatever you do, throw yeah, throw Shit. up the picture of the throw up the picture of the guy in the ER because whatever you do, do not eat the, the fried, fried cheese, cheese from Spanky's. Because oh my god, dude. I think the That's only the thing dude. good about that restaurant was they give you a cup. A cup? Yeah, yeah. like oh. a take home cup. Oh, you know, yeah. like, I said a cup. A cup? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we know you're gonna throw this up, so. <laughs> <laughs> to throw it up you know what i'm saying no, no. troll it's just a very basic like, honestly hey, look i'm not gonna lie tika shack was pretty gas i, I was a fan of tika shack i'm not gonna lie Why you sound, I, is there shots at that is there because re- it's it's like americanized like indian food it's, yeah it's Damn. like the most <laughs> like basic, doing that yeah. Yeah. i low-key loved it i don't it's like care. the most like i don't care that was, yeah, that was my guilty that pleasure that was my guilty pleasure yeah. Yeah. i loved it i loved it <laughs> they had some good stuff some good. yeah me and hamza used the loaded masala fries yeah yeah they had some good stuff damn i think Another place too uh, that I frequent a lot when I was a freshman was uh, my CISO. I actually really my CISO. Work that place Where a lot. was my CISO? At? Is that on was, campus? No, it was like a. Uh, is it Korean food? Yeah, it was like uh, Korean fast casual food on Thirty Fourth. Oh really? Yeah, it was yeah, cool people. Wow. Cool people. Yeah, yeah. Cool it was people. like a uh, family owned, like a little small mom and pop shop. Oh, who, what yeah, was that sure. one spot that like half a GB worked at? Um, uh, oh, Beijing House. Beijing House, <laughs> bruh. Beijing bro. House. At oh, least the whole gang. That's everyone, wild. Everyone that was in their fraternity. Everyone that had a car. There one day. I think everyone that had a car. That's at a some great point. segue, actually. Oh, yeah. Talking about y'all's uh, fraternity. Can we get some funny stories? Can we get like, can we get some before we get out of the interview section? We get into our next segments. Yeah, I, I think you guys hums it for that one. Oh, because you know he was like president. He's also president. We both <laughs> talked about this, but he was like a pledge master. The master. Pledge captain. 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 Master sounds yeah. a little. Gunch. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> yes, master. Like you want me to, you want me to like, give the funny stories, or are you asking me for like a funny story? I think he's like, asking. Could he say it? Uh, he's like walking no, on eggshells here. Huh? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah uh, let me spot. think. Oh, yeah, I, Ashwin, you got one while I while I ponder. That he's you can say. Pondering while you. Oh, <laughs> well, you were pondering. <laughs> I'm saying, like, <laughs> yeah, like, y'all just got quiet. Like, <laughs> oh, Del, why would you ask that question? No, I'm, I'm actually no. I'm trying to think. What was like? No, honestly though, like the stuff that I think back a lot on. Honestly, dude, your like y'all's crib, like at the what? What was that? Ninth Street one or whatever, dude. Was that the one I went to? Yeah, yeah, that was the one that you y'all came to. Yeah, yeah, dude. That there. there's you just remember. so many. You like, I feel remember. like whether it was like kickbacks, hey, parties, Shed. like just hanging out you there, dude. Shed. That was just so. There was just so many like fun memories. I feel like there, like you that remember. was like <laughs> the spot. I think, and I'm sorry because I know that we trashed it a lot. I've yeah, been to we, that we home. Should have burnt that house. Yeah. <laughs> like that was not safe for humans yeah. inside of it. That house time, is scary. Yeah. Every time we threw a party, Ian wanted to kill himself. Bro. Hey man, hey, I, I will say, and you I mean, can, and you can if you go that hard because I went to one. I just went to one. I'm not even from your city. Mm-hmm. You, and if you that can, happened all the time, I'm sorry. If that happened all the time, I'd be pissed off too. If I lived there, hey, but look, yeah. all I'm saying though is, whenever it, when I was trying to plan it or do it, you, you, know, you can, t- you can correct me from. But I was always the next day though. I was always there trying to like clean up, like you know, like make sure that I did my due diligence. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Out of yeah. the 30 people who promised to come, the five that actually came, Hamza was always there working. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Because yeah. you know, it'd be the the night of the the party. He'd be like, bro, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, no, bro. Literally, I yeah. promise, bro. I got you. Oh, he, he would be. He might be stumbling. Right? Yeah, I would be like, like a little like, you know, like, like he'd be there. He'd be working. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking chill. Fucking chill. Going crazy. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that, that, was, that house was, was like kind of like a zoo too, right? Ian, you want to talk about that? Yeah. <laughs> there were some animals. I don't know if we need oh. all that, but yeah, yeah, that house took a beating. I'll say that. You know, uh, Bennett Diegas. <laughs> oh my god. Benito. <sighs> oh my god. Yes. yes. Where, where are we going with this? So Bennett like decided to towards the end of that house. It was already like you know destroyed, but he left his dog there. And oh, I don't know if y'all met no. Dallas before, but just that is left? the stinkiest dog I've ever oh, seen. Oh no. Um, what do you mean just left? Like he just like left the dog. There. Like abandoned his dog. Yeah. Uh, like like where did he mean, go? Like he like when he had shift because he he did work with us at one point. He would leave his dog there while support. he was at shift and then come pick it up later. But you know like. The dog needs a shower. Damn. <laughs> that dog Damn, needs bro. a shower. <laughs> that has, Bennett, wash your dog. That house had like two dogs, one cat on the inside, one on the outside. <laughs> one on the, yeah, y'all yeah. had yeah. mice. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, had a big mouse problem, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the it's animals an house. there. Yeah. I mean, it, originally it was a frat house before they yeah. became a frat house. How again. much? How much mm. vomit do you think that mm. that backyard has? Mm. Like, if we quantify quantified, it, yeah, into like gallons, gallons it would yeah, probably be like ten plus gallons. Oh hey, he said, he <laughs> said, yeah, I, he said, I contributed, I contributed. That was nasty. Yeah, I'm that there one with the picture, court. That <laughs> one picture of him and Alfredo. <laughs> oh crazy. And, and David, David? that's oh just crazy. I don't know if we can throw that. We're not throwing it up. We're not. It's not. Put emojis on it. Yeah, we'll put it responsibly. Put a bar. Feature emojis. No, that was. I have a video of Bennett at in the backyard, just like. 
projectile like, like, <laughs> like is i think i think one of my favorite memories in the household is when we did the beer olympics that one time dude that was fun that i was think fun. that was like top three like memories <laughs> in the house yeah that garage is crazy hey, too, bro. Bro. Let's do it again. that was fun hey round two in dallas i was bro. a referee let's, do it. let's make it happen <laughs> yeah so down bro hey round two at odell's house hell yeah the buddy bungalow yo hey dude speaking of parties you remember that party uh was that you that threw here uh, at the airbnb there was a few brother i think he I, we're talking, he's talking about that one he's uh, like, hey, we're, we're, we already brought this up we're doing this again man we're doing this Wait, again i need to hear the story <laughs> we, we brought it up on, on the, the jeopardy, jeopardy. episode since we'll start with that uh we'll I start with hamza elbows, but Hamza, I've got here. It says that you are facing two charges of destruction of property from Airbnb. Makes a lot more sense. Oh! <laughs> Care to elaborate this is on this? Factual. Uh, Yo! Yeah! <laughs> elaborate. Elaborate. <laughs> Wait. So, so what happened? Nah, come on, brother. Nah, tell tell your truth. Live your truth. Come on, bro. We need Ryan. I'm sorry. And I paid you, so it's okay. We're good. But, but what? But tell them. Make sure to tell them the whole story, <laughs> bro. We were just literally. So yeah, my homie Ryan. Y'all know Ryan. He's been on he's the been pod. He's on the before. pod. Throw it up, boom. So like he he came into town and he's from Houston originally. So he needed a spot to crash at. So he got a BNB. Threw a little party. Everybody pulled up. Whatever, whatever. He ended up getting. He, he, he had to tap out a little early. It was, it was bedtime for him. Yeah, no, he fell asleep. For yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He had to tap out a little early, so he he went to bed. We're all still, what you know, chilling, hanging, whatever. And then, and then, and then somebody starts playing like Pop Smoke or something, and I just was getting, I just got excited. I got way too hyped, and I just started dancing, doing whatever, <laughs> and I didn't realize that like what I got back here is lethal, and that lethal. it has like some damage to it. Packing back there, yeah. And I just like literally was like moving around, and I like stumbled, and I like went like that to the window, and like my ass hit the window, and boom, the window broke. <laughs> was he dancing though? Yeah, he was dancing. I was, I was like, really? Like, was he I was dancing? Like, or I was like, like getting I thought hyped. he really just touched it. Like, that, it was like I did not do that. I think I was definitely dancing, and I like dancing? bumped into it. Yeah. All right. And then what happened after? And then there was yeah. more. No, no. What makes the story funnier is the, the after. <laughs> and the, and like, Can I tell it though? All right, well, you, you no 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 you don't, no, you're not. <laughs> so the window broke. I started freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, I broke the window, and I'm like, everybody, shh, like we're gonna, we're, no one's gonna know, like no one will know that the window broke. Like everybody, just be quiet. Closes the blind, bro. and then you close the blind. You know, hey, ignorance is bliss. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. <laughs> you don't think it's good? Yeah, I think, yeah. He no said one if will, I can't see it, it's not exactly, there. Exactly. You yeah. know, I close my eyes. I'm like, what happened? I don't know. And so yeah, and then you know, we all left the next day. Ryan woke up but I was like hey, how's last night I was, like, oh, was good you know whatever Chill. and then yeah we all left and then a couple days later Ryan's like yo um, uh, so the guy from the Airbnb just called me and he said uh, the win- like a window's broken I was like Windows broken. <laughs> I said, which one? I've never seen a window. Wait, a window? <laughs> What's a window? Live and thigh? Is there a window there? What's a window? Like, How? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what What do you mean a window's broken? He's like, I don't know, dude. Like, you said one of the windows broke. You know anything about it? And I was just like, in my head, I was like... <laughs> I have to I have to I have to I have to lie in the moment until I figure out like the the, the solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, look, like the okay. Well, fast fast forward. I confessed that I broke it and I paid for it, so it's all good. <laughs> I didn't make him pay for it. I owned up to it. In the moment, though, I freaked out because I was like, "Oh my god!" I, I thought me breaking the window meant I was gonna go to jail. Like in my head, like I don't know why. <laughs> I like I thought I was like I like killed someone and I like hid the body or something. <laughs> so now yeah. I ran. So yeah, I was like, I'm running. I'm like a fugitive on the run. And I'm like really like thinking back on. Also, though, it's like. I don't know. I feel like in college, though, like whenever you're in college, it's like I feel like money, at least now, now that I have a job, like money to me is like I just see it so differently. Back then it was like, oh, my God, $250. Like I'm going to fucking have to file for bankruptcy. But it's like now I'm like, you know what? That's a reasonable like you know, no, it's not reasonable. But, you know, whatever. It's like for a peace of mind, I'll pay that. Like so 250 for the window. Repair. 250 for the window. Yeah. Which uh, it's probably he probably pocketed like 200 of that. No cap. But um. It is what it is. But I just left I, it. I actually have yeah. a similar story to that. No way. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Your ass? You did something? Yes. Yeah, so, all right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. So uh, we just graduated high school. Tim actually went on this trip with me. So we just gradu- graduated high school, and uh, we ended up saying, like, hey, you know, we should take, like, a big trip as a group together. So my ex-girlfriend at a time and his ex-girlfriend at a time, 
uh, got a group with some of our guy friends, and we went up to Austin and rented out an Airbnb. Wait, I think I feel like you've told me yeah. this before. This I want to hear this. Okay, yeah, yeah. And basically, when we got to the Airbnb, we, uh, we were, you know, obviously we're like underage, and we we're no underage drinking, but obviously we don't like, support. Yeah, but yeah. it's the past. But in the past, you know, we we're trying to get wild. So uh, everybody you know, has those days. We we're trying to find people like you know get us everybody makes and stuff like days. that but eventually uh we got to airbnb and the whole fridge was stocked with modelos when we got there <laughs> hell yeah like, it's modelo time like, two, like, it's modelo time. like two cases of oh, modelos yeah. In there. oh yeah we're up and uh we asked like the airbnb owner he's like yeah th those are for y'all and, and i was like, like oh 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 so can you give us can you get some more yeah so uh <laughs> The second night, we uh, we ended up drinking those Modellos, and everyone's mm. having a good time. And then uh, my ex-girlfriend goes upstairs, and she starts throwing up. Oh, no. And I'm, like, kind of sauced downstairs. And, you know, like, Tim goes down. He's like, yo, like, you know, she's throwing up. You got to go up there. And then I'm like, okay, yeah. So I start running up. I'm oh, running up, no. like, super fast. And then I just oh, run no. into the wall. <laughs> 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 yeah. My whole knee, oh, no, I'm my whole knee went into the wall. <laughs> no, you were fucking. Oh, like, bro was were, striding then. Yeah. He <laughs> was running so fast <laughs> up the stairs, bro. Yeah, and it, it just goes into the wall, and I, I just looked down. I was like, "Holy fuck!" Holy I think, fuck! I, I think like I had the same mindset as you. I was like, "Holy oh, shit!" Like, like, I was a little bit sleepy. Get out. the paper. Oh, yeah, and we're drinking. What is your way? But how did you like? Did you like put something in front of it? No, or, like, like we kind of just had to tell the Airbnb. Is it, and, did you uh, lie too? No. Just yeah, just so the funny part honest. was like we we ended up like telling the Airbnb guy like immediately, and then he was trying to kick me out of the Airbnb ah. and make me sleep in the car, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So we ended up just like I'm staying dead. at the Airbnb <laughs> until then, and then kind of just paid like a hundred bucks to get it away. So a hundred bucks for that, and I had to pay two for just get some drywall for the inflation. Yeah. Inflate for real, <laughs> man. That's crazy. But that house was nice though. It was, it was, nice. It was a good mm -hmm. time. Nice house. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like I feel like did your did that house like did it did it ever like have any sustained like actual damage like to that oh, yeah. extent? So one time on Halloween, I think you guys were actually all there. Um, there was a individual plus sized individual who uh, tried to do some pull ups. I'm not going to mention any names, and we on? just basically like we just heard a crash and we look over and the tiles <laughs> underneath the pull up bar were shattered. <laughs> yeah, it was like a heavy impact. Yeah, she uh, she shattered that like. It's crazy. Because he landed so Wait, what <laughs> was he using it for a pull up? Like just a pull up bar? Like a pull up bar. It was like yeah. a pull up bar in a doorway with like, oh, so he like slipped. stone Cheats. tiles. Yeah. <laughs> so like, hey, so like, bro! <laughs> That, he, he said, said individual. individual. No, he said she. No, he said individual. Said individual. Oh, <laughs> see, he got a business to worry about. We'll bleep that out. We'll bleep that out. <laughs> Why you do that? Right. It's fine. We'll it's all good. Damn, that's crazy. Damn. You say whatever. We'll so like wrestling out. move, just smashed then, through the ground. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. What? Just like through. The, yeah, I what? think it was just seismic impact. So <laughs> seismic. seismic. Impact is gravity, crazy. gravity was acting up for real. I'm not gonna acting. I'm coming to bed. Bam! I mean, whatever's up must come down, right? That's <laughs> wild. That's insane. That's hey, wait. Cool. I'm curious about how many pull-ups that person got off. <laughs> Less than half of one. Uh, probably like a third there. A third? Saw like three inches. It's three. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounded real as fuck. Yeah, so I know I mentioned Mochigo earlier, this company we're starting. We're actually actively looking for investors. So any Hey Buddy listeners who are interested in investing, yeah. uh, go to www.gogogiri.com, click on investors and submit an inquiry. Uh, the idea with this business, I said, is to basically create the simplest business possible, right? With Gogo Gear and restaurants, we have so many different factors. You know, we have supply chains. Uh, we have, like, millions of employees we have to manage and all this stuff. With yep. this business, it's essentially a straight line, right? We get our goods delivered. It's manufactured in the restaurant. They then send that to fulfillment services such as, you know, TikTok Shop and Amazon FBA. Yep. And then okay. they distribute to customers. And then we can basically figure out with advertising specifically how much does it cost to acquire a customer. So okay. let's say that we're selling a three pancake mix set for $30. Let's say our input goods, including fulfillment, are $15. So we have that other $15 to basically figure out how much does it cost per customer to acquire this. So let's say we have a really good ad, and we can basically drive a purchasing decision for $5. And that means yeah. we can track it from TikTok shop to the point of purchase to the end fulfillment. So we can figure mm -hmm. out exactly our input costs. Um, and then essentially you can put more money in and more money comes out. Yeah. So it's a really scalable model. Okay. And then because it's, it's so simple, we basically need two full-time positions to automate the company, which you can then create a company that basically just produces money. It's a great box, right? Because you put money in, money comes out. It's self-managed, which is what private equity is looking for. So you can essentially go to private equity and say we're doing $2 million a year at a 20% margin. Uh, we think you guys could use your network and scale this another, you know, 40, 50 percent in the next year. And then we can get like a two to three X EBITDA multiplier. So EBITDA is obviously earnings before interest, yeah. taxes, amortization. 
Um, meaning that like, let's say we're doing, you know, two million a year at a 20% margin, right? We're making 400K a year. We could then charge the private equity company somewhere between three to five times that to sell the business. So in like one to two mm. years, you could sell a company for $2 million where you might only spend 5K to start that company. Mm. Wow. That makes sense. That's yeah. smart, isn't it? So you're saying y'all you you're saying that y'all are looking for two full time employees for that? No, so that's like Eventually. initially we're gonna obviously do it in house. Oh, okay, like, okay. Mm-hmm. The model is to create these companies that we could then sell to private equity within one to three years. Okay. Um to just exit. Right. Because mm-hmm. like once we can exit, we can then scale horizontally and just pop up a bunch of these different brands. Gotcha. So for this business specifically, we partnered with an influencer I was talking to you guys about yeah. on yeah, TikTok. Right. Uh, we gave her, you know, a significant portion of the business to do all the marketing and basically like run the company okay. on the front end. Mm-hmm. Um, Has that already started? Like she's already been like advertising so, it and stuff? Or? No. So we're right now we're in the phase of we're, we're basically getting our, our mixes finalized, the okay. recipe just like dialed in so it's really high quality. Uh, and then we're ordering custom packaging and kind of spinning it up, okay. um, getting our, you know, supply chain set up here, getting distribution to Amazon set up. Uh, but the goal is to launch in the next three months. Hell yeah. Nice. yeah. Can we know the, the flavors? Are there different flavors? Yeah, I think that... so. The initial flavors we're launching with, uh, subject to change, are <laughs> matcha, okay, hey, brown yeah. sugar, yep. and strawberry milk. Boom. Uh, Ooh, favorite strawberry favorite milk drink. sounds... All of those hit. Strawberry milk. That one's... I'm, I'm going to have to get one so of those. So where did you man. say if someone is looking to invest, they would go? go go yeah, let's, yeah, let's so, get the address and the instructions right yeah, here. So www.gogogiri.com. Click on investors and then just fill out an inquiry and we'll, we'll get back to you. Mm. Um but so the whole concept of this business, right, is like obviously we're not just shooting in the dark. I don't know if you guys know Trader Joe's. Yeah, mm-hmm. Trader Joe's, yeah. So they actually made a mochi pancake mix uh, that's offered seasonally. Yes. Okay. And right now it's selling on Amazon for three times the in-store price and oh, they wow. can't meet demand. Um, so it seems like there's a huge gap in this marketplace, right, where there's demand for this product. It's not being fulfilled. So that's where we come in producing a better product, right, with better branding, higher quality ingredients and more social media like facing company. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and pancakes are so easy. You sell a mix, and anyone can make a pancake. We already make pancakes. We can make pancakes. You get the mix, though. That's like the proprietary, yeah. like, your thing. You're well, and okay, so these, yeah. these aren't normal pancakes. These are mochi pancakes. So you're yeah. looking at, like, yeah. a totally different texture, totally oh, different nice. flavor, like a specialty good. And then the goal would be to obviously scale that on Amazon over the next, you know, six to nine months to around 250 to 500K in revenue. And mm-hmm. then after that point, we can show proof of concept. We can go to big box retailers, yep. Whole Foods, Tom Thumb, Kroger. And at that point, you know, you're just the amount of revenue you're going to do is going to 10x. It's not going to one or two x. Mm-hmm. And at that point, you know, you can look at okay, how do we dial in our margins? How do we lower our costs? How can we like exit and sell this to private equity? Oh yeah. And yeah. is that that's a different name than Gogo Giri? So the way it works right now is Gogo Giri LLC is the parent company. Okay. This company's uh, this restaurant's actually owned by Gogo Giri Dallas, which is a subsidiary. Mochi Go LLC is a subsidiary of the main company. Okay, okay. got it, got it. Okay, Ooh. give the address one more time. So that's www.gogogiri.com. Hell yeah. Boom. Hell yeah. We might have to do a, a <coughs> pancake making class one day. You know? hey, yeah, whenever, once y'all launch, once y'all launch, yeah, we'll have to, we'll do, we'll do something with yeah. the mochi pancakes there, for sure. There might be people out there that don't know how to make pancakes, you know? So. No, mochi pancakes. Yeah, or, or that. Specific. Yeah. Correct. Uh, and definitely. And even if those individuals who have trouble making pancakes, we're going to offer plenty of recipes on our website. We're going to have walkthrough tutorials that our influencers is going to post. There you go. Hey. And we're going to have all sorts of challenges and really exciting prizes coming up in the next three months. I'm lit. Hey. Oh, you're, you're lit. Hey, Eagle, stay tuned. Eagle sound them out. Speaking of challenges. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect segue. So we're in the restaurant. You know, we got the kitchen right there. So, you know, it only makes sense that, you know, we, we, we attempt a cook-off, you know. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef, but I be chefing, but I be cooking. That's all I got to say. Would you be capping. I he could. Be <laughs> somebody X. Go, go, Gary, cook off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Come on. Hey, cheers us out right here. Cheers. cheers. Come on. Good right. old club soda right there. Cool. All right, so we got Tim here showing everybody how to make an onigiri. Uh, the rice ball master. All right, go for it. All right, let's get the rice. Tim, you want to walk us through this process? What's going on? Ooh, all right. We're sticking rice into this mold, and we need to make a cavity that allows all the meat and sauce to get in there. A cavity? Cavity. Make that nice hole, settle it in there. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And a big thing here is you really want to make sure the walls are strong because we're putting meat and sauce in this, right? So it has to stay together. It has to have structural integrity. That's a big thing. But y'all saw how quick that was, right? No, God, we did. <laughs> and, and so these molds, it actually took us about six months to figure out how to source these custom molds. And we're actually working right now with the Harmony School of Dallas to produce automated robotic solutions to manufacture the onigiri without having to have manual oh. input. Easy. Make a mold. Hey. There it is. Easy. Come on. 
Nah, so to make a white you let me get some mayo. He's gotta get the sauce. Sauce. So Tim's showing you right now how we make our Wagyu in here, one of our best sellers of all time. This starts with a Wagyu ground beef that is marinated. Jacob, do you want to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. So doing the Wagyu, I always I wanted to, to do it bulgogi style, Korean style. Uh, so that contains like soy sauce, onion, green onion, sesame seed, brown sugar, uh, stuff like that in there. It's real good, real like sweet, savory. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite rice balls. And you know this man's been in the kitchen. He's he, we started using like more scalable ingredients, and now he actually is grading pears for this. He's doing it. He's doing it right. Oh yeah. There's also there's also pears in there. There's that. Uh, sounds weird having like, yeah. It sounds weird having fruit with meat, but it's real good. It makes it like it's kind of like a tenderizer too. Does the citrus bring out like some? Yeah, for sure. Here's some citrus. Yeah, and if, if you look closely at Tim's rice ball here, you see how there's no sauce poking through on the sides. There's no meat poking through. It has, like, perfect structural integrity. It's, that's going to hold together. That's really what we're looking for. And you can see, like, when someone takes a bite, it's not going to break apart. And so we actually used to make these by hand. So this is already like a much faster process. And hopefully in you know six to nine months, yeah, with automation, tires, it'll tires? be about 10 times faster. About 10 times. How key is time and speed in the restaurant industry? Well, so it depends right now, because right now we're still starting up, right? So we're able to kind of make this work with the current system. But as demand scales, as we acquire more customers, get them into our customer base and remarket to them, it becomes integral to success. Integral. I got a question too. So where did you guys have your first onigiri and why did we go with onigiri? I, I know you said there wasn't a lot of market for onigiri, but where did you have your first one and how did you tackle your first onigiri, I guess? Yeah, so I, I spent a little bit of time in Japan uh, for a couple summers and I tried it there and I was just amazed when I came back to the U.S. that this wasn't offered at scale because in Japan it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. So the first time when I tried onigiri was actually when we first started the company. So, so it was definitely a learning process, and I, I knew about it, and you know, through anime and like other cultures, like you know, Japanese culture. But other than that, I never really had a place where I can actually get this fresh. So, wow, wow, Tim, Tim, you did a wonderful job. Yes, yes, I always do. I always do. He's confident. Do. This is purely for performance purposes only. Everyone in the kitchen has an approved kitchen license. Alright. Oh, the mic was for me? What am I making today? What are you making? What am I making today? You can make whatever you want. So you're gonna, want. Let, let's make a let's make a katsu onigiri. So you're gonna see there's some delicious fried chicken in there. That's a in a uh, marinade. Jacob, do you want to come talk about that marinade? Okay, okay. We've been working on our fried chicken for a while, so we'll let the master talk. Um, so uh, honestly, I think this, the fried chicken is gonna be our best menu item. Uh, it's real katsu. So we do uh, flour, we have panko in there, we have uh, tokarashi, which is a, a Japanese spice blend. It's going to be like orange, ginger, uh, sesame seed in there. It's real good. Like peppers too. Uh, it's going to be black pepper, salt, sugar, uh, stuff like that in there. It's real, real crispy, real good. And so these are boneless skin on chicken thighs which might sound like a minor adjustment but no one or very few people in the market are doing dark meat chicken which is much juicier oh, um which so you guys will better. see when we cut into it hopefully oh, yeah. he said boneless you heard that I said they were Hell yeah. boneless oh, yeah. i love boneless it's, it's i'm a big boneless guy way bigger reason, way bigger big boneless guy all right so we, we we got this man gloved up all right so the next steps you're going to take that chicken you're going to cut it into bite-sized pieces oh god any piece of chicken yeah, take. you better pick the right. Bite-sized pieces, right? I don't want to use the whole thing, so I'm going to just... Let them cook. Use as much as you want. It's got to fit in the rice box. It's looking good. So, what do y'all think about his, um, his, um, 
his, Listen. Uh, what's the word? His cutlery. Yeah, his I'm cutlery impressed skills. so far. He seems Listen, like he knows what he's doing. There's some good bite-sized you know, pieces. Very organized, very clean. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. A little slow, though. Customers yeah. are going to be yelling at you at this point. You're going to have some angry people. I feel like no, cooking, Mama. <laughs> are we getting judged on speed? I love it. I can't pick any. Oh, speed? Okay, yeah. So, Oh, wait. Should we talk about what are... Talk into the mic. Is yeah. slow? Uh, uh, yeah. What do you want to... Do you want to talk about what I guess? What are the things you're going to be judging on? Yeah, so we're going to be judging Categories. this on overall shape. We're going to be judging this on structural integrity. Is sauce or meat poking through the rice ball? We're also going to be judging this on time. Oh yeah. Okay, that's all good. All good. All fair. Uh, you know, factors, variables. Right the fuck up. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, buddy. I didn't realize this was time. Okay, he's 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 getting in there. He's Wait, rotating. Yeah, timer, was, <laughs> timer check. I don't even know where we're at. It's been five minutes. <laughs> Low key at this point, Tim could have made five already. Damn, bro. Damn. Tim was fast as shit. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm seeing some rookie mistakes oh, yeah. here on, happening there, already. There, there, there. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Let me, let me we'll see how the final product that. turns out, but it's not Give looking it good. <laughs> Wait, so, so when you're making that cavity, make sure uh, the walls are actually nice, you know? Oh. That's your structure. Don't, don't give me yeah. tips. Don't give me tips. Unfair advantage. Hey, yeah, what are you doing? Listen, listen. Here's my boy, okay? And I, I just want you to know too that we had Harry's little brother who was 15 at the time on the truck working so we're obviously going to compare his rice balls to a 15 year old's um, yo honestly my brother's doing a lot better than this shit. Oh. Damn. okay he, he, Damn, he's packing that meat in there that's what I like to see I can't I can't wait till y'all go he's, he's going in with the, the sweet and savory sauce that's a good choice so you do a Ooh, you oh, sure he's going double that? sauce. This is risky because if you, you put sure too much that? sauce, it can spill through the rice. Uh, that's, that's, cap, that's points off of integrity. Oh, most definitely. Oh. If it falls apart, that's an automatic <laughs> Are failure. Are you scared of spicy, sir? Exactly why I oh, <laughs> I'm not scared of spicy, bro. You gotta throw more sriracha in there. You think so? Bro, hey, I up to you. Ha- I might have put too much chicken. I don't know. There's no such thing as too much chicken. No? Oh. Wait. Oh, At GoGo Gear, we try and pack this full of meat so the customer gets a, a, a bite with meat, rice, and sauce every time. He, Tim said to fold it back over on itself. Oh, he's, okay. he's, he's doing a little advanced technique there. I think he might be getting some help from Tim. Uh, that, uh, that, that left corner is looking a little weak. I'm a little worried about that left corner. I'm worried about that corner. I think the, I think the pressure's getting to him. He's starting to sweat. We'll see how the final product turns out. <laughs> Yours is gigantic, yeah. brother. At, at this point, the customers have left the store. They've left Damn. the one-star review. <laughs> They're not happy. We probably found another onigiri chain to go to. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. They've actually driven to LA to go purchase our competitor's onigiri at this uh, point. All this. Get in there, bro. Oh, he, he, he's struggling with the oh, final step. He's struggling. Step. He's struggling. Oh. No. You got to work lock on those forearms. Lock in. Lock in. Might have to get this guy in the gym. Ooh. Okay, now is the okay. most critical part of the process. Oh. You gotta wrap some seaweed, right? So he, he's seaweed. missing one step before the seaweed wrap, but we'll see how that affects the final product. Oh, shit. oh man. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna just go for it. King! He didn't back down. Okay, okay, a solid wrap around, a solid seaweed wrap around to finish it off. Done. Time. Time? I don't know okay. What time the final uh-huh. product. Yeah. Was it thirty? Was it thirteen? But you have to save it though, right? I think that was like five. Yeah, yeah. We're not eating them yet. No, no. no so yeah. how do we know that's you? Uh, let's put put a little put a gap of. Uh, T- Tim's master. gonna get a tray and we'll make sure to separate it. Label it. We'll label it. No, no, here. Okay. Wait, I'm putting gardeners on mine. Yeah. Presentation. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Fun. They don't like the presentation. Harry, <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, put it. Put it on the. Put it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you're gonna finish by putting it back in the solution. Got it. Oh, yeah. Back in the solution. Yeah. 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 It's easier than, you know, over time. You kind of, it's a skill, right? Yeah. That's the idea with the automation is right now our employees need to be relatively trained to make this. So once we can introduce like robotics and automation. All right, now all right, all right, all right come on, Hamza. Hamza next. Hamza. All right, let's see, let's see what you got. Okay, we got Hamza yeah. stepping up. Crispy chicken skin. Sorry. He's already struggling with the gloves. It's not looking good. Not looking good. 
He does have long fingers, though, which I think is going to give him an advantage here. He's going to be able to get into those tight spaces, really work it. Long fingers. How do we feel? Long finger method. Scared. It's a man with big hands. Okay. All right, all right. Can we get a timer? Start? Timer, timer. Hey, Siri. Uh, where's the... That's already in there. Okay, the mold's on the board. He's scooping the rice. I've I've never seen Hamza so quiet before. He he is dialed in. There's already this one man is using a hundred percent of his concentration right now. <laughs> way more right. He's way more right. <laughs> He's going for the double scoop. Double scoop. Double scoop. Double scoop. Uh, I don't think Hamza is using the right size measuring cup. We'll see how that affects it. Don't be afraid to remove. Tim, you made this look too easy, bro. <laughs> He knows the weight of how much rice. I know. He said this like. is 200 grams. His technique looks a little bit lacking. He's not making the walls right. He's also he making is, it on the cutting board. He is getting that's in cutting there, the chicken. Oh, dang. Cross contamination. Mm. Dang. Oh, he, he, he's struggling to make those walls. He, he's making the walls at a slope right now. That's something we, we try and avoid because you really want that straight up and down wall to get the, the best food, ingredient food. dispersion possible. You know, the cap he needs to be a little bigger. <laughs> I think the pressure's getting to him. Oh, he's going for the wagyu. He's he's breaking it up. He's not going for the katsu chicken. Any reason for choosing going for the, the, the second scoop? I'm different. Is that two or three? He's, he's going in with the go-go sauce. We don't normally put that on Wagyu, but, you know, to each their own. To each their own. Each their own. Oh, he's going in with the, the sweet and savory sauce. This is, this is, this is un madness. unheard of. This is unheard of. Mixing sauces? How many flavors do we get in here? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. A third, a third sauce. What is this guy doing? Three sauces? <laughs> oh, he, he's panicking. He doesn't know the next step. He's oh, going for the he's chicken. Mixing he's mixing meats and sauce. Interesting. Interesting. So it seems like Hums is trying to make up for his lack of technical expertise hey, by packing it full of ingredients. <laughs> I respect that. He's trying a different lane, you know? Hey, cross-contamination is not an issue for him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we don't worry about that here. Hey, what is that? He, he is moving faster. Back in the rice. Back in the rice. Yo, this man can get a shut down. RIP all that rice. Hey, yo. I'm not sure he, he topped it with a lot of rice too. That's, rice? At this point, this is triple rice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right now. Not and, not gluten -free. and this this onigiri will be known as everything we have at the store. <laughs> okay, now comes the press. This is where Ashwin struggled the most last time. Let's see how Hamza handles this. Oh. He's being careful. He's securing the base. The pressure looks a little a little lackluster. Oh, you can see that that top side is going down farther than the you other two sides. There's a problem. Yeah, the, the walls are not going to hold. <laughs> They're definitely not holding. Pick it up and push it out with your thumbs. Walls are coming down. Oh, okay. Okay, the, the okay. final product's actually Let looking go. better than I expected. There's a slight slant in the rice ball, but I see no sauce or ingredients poking through the side. Oh. We got to do the cut test. He, he's now putting mayo on top. I, I, I think he's about to get Wait, disqualified. I don't know what this man's doing. Is this a step doing. that I missed? <laughs> I want to see where he goes from this. It has to stick. That's an interesting choice using the mayo to secure the nori. I think the oil is actually going to make it slipperier and be kind of a, a negative uh, effect because the rice is already very sticky. Now, but, crazy, but we'll see how though. it turns out. I do like the finesse, though. He, he's really trying to make that work. He's trying to shape it. That's what we want to see. Time. No, no, time is not symmetrical at all. Yeah, time's when you put on your thing. But as you can see with the mold, hey. even amateurs trying to make this, it comes out relatively good, right? Damn. Wow. So at that rate, Hamza could make 12 yeah. port per hour. Which is about which is about seventy five percent below the metrics we look for. I'm in this hole. I'm in it hole for real. I know I need both hands though. 
I'm not feeling great. Yeah, a little pregame. Uh, how do you feel about not watching one person make this? No, no, I watched. I actually watched the last two people. Um, right, who's, 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 got <laughs> who's got timer? All right, bro. All right, all right. All right, bro. I'm gonna get. Oh, let's get some gloves on there. Oh, whoa! we got a sanitation <laughs> violation. Is that already no, no, it's just a yellow, yellow card. Keep going. Uh, whoa! Plus 30 uh, seconds. Yeah. Whoa! Plus 30 seconds. All the time. Didn't this uh, guy like work in a barbecue yeah, shop like, in like a Bronx? We're gonna need yeah, some wait, references. Wait, wait, wait. What they teach you at Bronx? To spit in the food, apparently. <laughs> hey, there was a coworker of mine that pissed in a shake one time. Oh my god! You know, we do not support that. Oh, he already dropped one. They're basically facts. like, yeah, we're gonna yeah. disinfect the entire get out store them. after this episode. Like, he's <laughs> he seems confident though. He's Harold moving slow. He's moving control. That's what I like to see. <laughs> they got a little bit Yo, of special. He never even clean up his workspace, bro. Dang. Be cute on, bro. Be cute on. That's bro. okay. All right. That's All right, whatever. Does this go in there? Or is it, it goes in there. In the solution. In the solution. Anyway. You know, sometimes in the restaurant here, industry, you got to adapt. We're not I'm seeing him adapt, right? Daylight, he's trying sister? to use the previous person as an excuse for why he's being okay. slow. Okay. We're not going to accept that around here. <laughs> for your accept it. <laughs> that is a lot of rice. That's a chicken that is a for your lot of rice. That's a lot of rice. Hold on, team. Let's see what he does, for, does with it. Let me get there. Let me get there. All right. Oh, he's getting... Oh, he's got... So it looks like he has practice. Out of the uh, three, I like this technique the looks best. Like he's, he's moving it while he does the know? press down, which is going to give Do you even know distribution why? on all sides. We'll never know why. Will we? Can you just. I don't all know right. if he knows that ingredients are supposed to go in the rice ball. It looks just like a ball of Dude, rice, but we'll Ian, see what happens. Ian is a <laughs> 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 all right. All right. The hey, walls the are crumbling. That's good right there. That's good right there. Remember the Trojan horse? Watch Let's out, take a peek. Oh. What you doing? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he said, ooh. I know. I heard oh, he I hit heard. that rig rod. Ooh. Look at that chicken, though. That chicken is looking crispy. Okay. That chicken is looking juicy. That's what we now, want to see. I have to see. say, that cut is very nice. Oh, it's a nice cut. Much better cut sure. than the other, the other contestants. Splendid technique. Way better okay. cut. Okay. Maybe too fine, got some, though. Got some he's he's over processing the chicken, which is going to give you uh, ground beef guys, consistency, which is cheese. not what we're looking for. When it's really we not. want crispy pieces of chicken that you can detect in each bite. Okay, okay. That's also, that's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. He's still got to fit the sauce and the top. Oh, he's, he's taking some chicken out. He recognizes his mistake. He's moving forward. That's what we like to see. Definitely. Let's build, build. Need that adjustment mid-game. Okay, I see you. Coach told me what was the situation I heard. Coach said, uh, sub, sub. I'm going to go this way. He's going for the, the, oh, the sweet and wow. savory sauce That's first. Of, I believe is what they said last time. No, last time they was you. Good amount of sauce. <laughs> Good amount of sauce. Nice <laughs> drizzle. Oh, he's, he's going for the rice on top of the sauce without a second protein. That's a rookie move. That's a rookie. Well, now I want a second protein. I heard what happened. I heard the sideline. Okay, he's, he's taking feedback. He's adjusting. On. That's what we like to see. Oh, wow, really? So we're... The oh, is not gonna fit. Copycat. <laughs> he's going for the wagon. He's going for a combo rice ball, too. We'll see how this affects the final scoring. I'm going for flavor. He's actually oh, he accepting is. something very hard right now. A combination <laughs> rice ball. He's not distributing the beef properly, though. I think that's going to that's gonna result in some air pockets on the size. Hold on. He's going for the press. This is where... All right. It's all about the press. What's going through your head when you're about to I see my press? problem already. I'm oh, seeing no. some potential issues. Walls issue. ain't wall of game. The walls, walls are not walling. Walls the chat. Them walls are not Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> What's going through your head as you do this press? Uh, my press is fucked, dude. <laughs> hey, no, come on. How do you get this off? Bro, come on. He's struggling. <laughs> You got it. Hey, somebody needs to hit the gym. Don't do that angle. You're going to fuck up throwing a gear. Some arm workouts. Lift. Lift and push down. Lift and pull. Lift Y'all should do a listen buddy gym set. Like lift it up and push. This is, this is, this is hard to watch. Yeah. Grab the Yeah, y'all should like do hand grippers while y'all talking to each other. This is what I see in my nightmares at night. Oh, I, I'm always Good talking point, to her. Don't worry about that. <laughs> lift it. Hey. Hey. Good point. Lift and push. It's a, it's a good thing this guy does podcasting for a living because he could not work here. Hey. Yeah. Lift. Oh. Okay. He's almost got it off. 
Oh. As you can see, okay. there are meat sticking out of the rice. There's some minor issues I'm seeing. The overall shape is looking okay. Hold on, now she's not leaning. Hey, she's kind of leaning a little bit. If you notice too, on the on the bottom wall there, there's some cracking. The cracking is going to come back to haunt him later. Yeah, you wasn't supposed to do what you did. Okay, you sure about that? I'm positive. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to taste, so we'll see what happens. Oh no. I know, the nori on. I saw it. Oh, there's a there's a little gap there at the bottom. That's gonna count points off. God damn it. Uh, points off. And he's finished. Time. Dang. Where are we at? Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes also? Shit. I'm feeling very Dude, confident yeah, about the next contestant. You've been, you've been yapping. Is, is, there, is there another you've contestant? You've been yapping for 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. You've been yapping for 20 minutes. Hey, this is this is one of our top customers. This guy can do no wrong. Whatever he says, we're going to glaze him the whole time. I'm going to be real. I'm glazing. <laughs> Hopefully he stays. He's already together. looking confident. He's looking poised. This is what Look I like this. to see from a contestant. Hey, hey, one thing... One, One thing, thing is undebatable. undebatable. I was the first Dallas customer to try the katsu chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. Hey, he was there. there. Respect. Tell him, Tim. He was, was there. The first one. One. I was the first one. Uh. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Ten seconds. Now that you gave me that, hopefully that doesn't. I don't fuck that up. All right. All right. All right. Lock the he's he's yeah. going oh, for the gloves. He's, he's going for the gloves. He's ready. The Respect that. Restaurant. Sanitation is important. So everyone's aware. A home court advantage. Got a little bit of a... well, what's going through your head right now as you tackle the... Oh, so uh, what happened to... Oh, he put oh, the mold so back in the solution. He knows what he's do, doing. It's a problem, but when <laughs> Princess does it, okay. <laughs> they just finesse the rice. He's scoping out the area. He's plotting his approach. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he's measuring the rice. He's measuring the rice. Oh, he's doing it properly. This is what we like to see. Huh? What's going through your head right now? The, uh, you take on the gun. You need the, the, the dual thumb action. He's I confident. He's using right? the dual thumb, thumb technique. That's Big what I like guy. to see. Dual thumbs. You see, you see, look, get in there, get in there. He's really getting in there. He's, yeah, he's making he's those getting walls. I'm getting that palm action. A little bit of... Oh. Hey, he, 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 he can't be afraid, right? Go ahead and grab some more. Go ahead and grab some more. We are seeing the same mistake the other up. contestants made, making a very thick, concave base. That's crazy. A little bit of... He's still a lot better than the other contestants. He's fixing it. He's grabbing rice from the cutting board. It's all good. It's all good. Is that a is that an OSHA violation? <laughs> Yo, this is actually way harder than I yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Y'all yeah, make it look so easy, yeah, Tim. What the hell? All right, uh, uh, let's let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Missing a couple inches off the wall. Oh, okay. Cut. Not oh. not as not as promising as I originally hoped, oh, but he, you know, he's making progress. Bro, chop your Thumbs out of there. Thumbs out of there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he's got a good chop on the chicken. Gotta be out of there. Oh, y'all are right. He, he's taking feedback from the audience. He's fixing it. But that might kill him on the time. He also has the benefit of going last. We've seen every other contestant go, so he should produce the best product. Are you doing sauces as well? He's going back in for more rice to repair his mistakes. It was, it was this one, and then it was the, the two Wait, did he get more rice? He did. It ain't no rice. But he's building the walls correctly now. Nah, I don't know, but Hey. I don't know, but Hey, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I enforce them. I think they are actually enforcing the slowest them. one. And he said, "Hard three up. Rose dropping chicken. Rose. He's he's going in with the beef first. That's the first time a contestant's oh, gone in with the beef. That's a rookie mistake. Sauce, no sauce yeah, between so. the oh, double meat. Oh. He's going in with the cupai mayo. Mayo. Okay. They're mixed together. There's more. Oh, now he's covering the mayo with more beef. That's what I like to see. He's protecting that outside wall from the moisture from the sauce. Come on. You're right, dude. That's exactly what I was doing, actually. Now I'm gonna but he's going in with more sauce. This is crazy. <laughs> this is unheard of. going for the corner. This is unheard of, apparently. <laughs> Here we go. He's going for the final step. This is, I will say, faster than the other contestants. Way too much fucking rice. Holy shit. God damn. That I think he's trying to carbo load because there is there is just too much rice here. I never rolled the. I never rolled the fucking. I never rolled the fucking. We never rolled the fucking walls. I think it was Ashwin. Okay, here's the press. Let's the see how he does. Walls. God damn it. Good pressure. It looks nah, even. It's gonna. It's gonna. Fall. I'm like. 
He, he's struggling with the same the same Look pitfalls the other contestants like fell stains. into. He's struggling with like the press. You got dookie stains Can on yours. Like mine looks so clean. And... I know, right? Up. I told you that was the hardest part. I thought you had it. Oh, you put your thumb in there. Okay, he figured it out towards the end. That's what we like to see. It's about the grip, though, Tim. Oh, really the race ball's looking a little rough. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're that king. You're that Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's fixing the edges. His technique leaves a little bit to be desired, but he's trying. That's what matters. I do see a little bit of sauce peeking through that rice ball. That's going to be points off in the final grading. Not a little seaweed can't cover up. You know, don't look right there to the sauce. Peeking out, making a surprise appearance. Time. Time. And four minutes. That's fucking I was, I was zooming. I was zooming. All right, what's going through your head? You know, you last one. Hey man, you know? post game interview. You know, like I feel like could have done a little better. You I definitely kinda lost my mojo there towards the middle. You know, the little press got me. But once I figured out that thumb, you got that thumb in the middle, and then you just. That's all it is, dude. Can we get from the from the owners and who they think is gonna? What? That's literally, they're the judges. You didn't go yet. Just from watching the competition so far. So, so far we've seen all the contestants go. I, I'm definitely feeling that Ian had the strongest, the strongest performance. Yeah. Um, he adapted over time. He figured out how to use the thumb to push it out. He built up his walls more than the other contestants. <laughs> However, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to taste. And it's going to come down to the shape and the integrity. <laughs> okay, so initially looking at this inspection, I'm seeing some issues right off the bat. Um, I actually think Odell's is looking the best from the bird's eye perspective. As you can see on Tim's, the professional, we're looking at a beveled edge. We're looking at consistent wow. filling. We're looking at an even thickness throughout with no slanting on the top versus on Hums, as you can see, it slants that way. There's some weird stuff going on there. <laughs> and also uh, the nori placement is a little The nori placement's too. a little skewed. And on, on Ashwood's, we're seeing some sauce poking through. We're seeing a really strange topping on, on the, the, topping the foreground. On the I've never seen that the before. That's not a, even on top. That's yeah. a first at Gogo Geary. <laughs> Customers aren't like yeah, that. Odell's, we're seeing some meat peek through. Ian's, we're actually not seeing any meat or sauce from this angle. The nori is slightly slanted, and it does look pretty thick. And there's a little couple of crumbs on the A couple the grains, outside. yeah. All right, we're going into the, the, the tasting. Let's well, so let's, let's toss them in the air, right, check so the integrity I'm first. I'm going to do a little shake yeah. on it. Is that real? Be, be rough with it. Oh, yeah. Nice toss. Okay, okay. Oh! It does not survive the toss. Why would you want to toss that? You're fired. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Let's do, let's do Ashwin. That was not smooth. Garnish. Okay, okay. It survived the shake. It survived the shake. Can it survive the toss? So far, so good. Good job. Now, oh, it did not survive the shake. So that's a common issue where you don't put enough pressure. Yeah. All right, moving on to Ian's. All right, the guy that comes here the most. I see what he's all about. Oh. Oh. It did not survive the shake. I guess we, uh, Even though it did not survive, we still love Ian. He's a great customer. That is a lot of rock. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to inspecting the filling, which may be difficult with Humza's, but let's get a flip. Okay, so... You want to cut yours in half, Tim, and show them what it's yeah. supposed to look like? I'll get the... Tim, you got a, cl a clean knife? Yeah, yeah, you can. I got one. Okay, let me see one of these. Ashwin very clearly in the, weed, in the weed. I got nothing to say except I apologize. And Ian, Excuse me, Harry, I don't know what happened. Eon sucks, though. Oh, you're on the he's, eating his, he's eating his own shit. Hey, I thought, I thought Mr. Okay. Mr. Go -Go so we have, we have the split. Damn, Ashwin's in the lead, wow. I think. I think Ashwin won. Yeah. All right, so you see here. Everybody else here. is broke. Oh this, there's a lot of rice it's right here. This, this is like kind of uneven walls. I'm not seeing much sauce. That's looking pretty dry, but I do like the meat ratio to rice ratio. Great meat ratio. Let's check out the control group. You can tell that even during the cut, the onigiri stays together. That means proper pressure has been applied. And proper meat. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that filling to rice to wall ratio. We're seeing four even walls. That's experience. And as you can see from Hamza's, 
He didn't have enough meat. Okay, let's check out Odell's. Check out Odell's. Where's Odell's? Right here. You're just going to have to do a flip and we're going to have to... Alright, I'm going to try and piece it back together. Right. Ways to try. Damn. Hungry ass. What are you doing? He's going for the cut and it is just falling apart. Let's check out the cross section. You can. Ooh. That's a lot of rice. There's a, there's it is a, lot, of a lot of rice. What's going on right there, though? It's a lot of rice. It's a lot of rice. That's too much rice. That's too much rice. Too much rice. My shit didn't even make it past the shit. You know, there's, there's there's a lot of rice, but there's also a lot of heart. So we got to respect that. Thank you, man. We had a couple of contestants who just... I, I don't... Yeah. We had no contest. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put them over here. We're, we're going to give a participation yeah. award to Ian, though, for being a great customer. Let's go! Uh, and okay. And creativity. All right. Are we judging? Yeah, the, the final judgment. <laughs> the final judgment. All right. I, I think I have my answer. I have my answer as well. Jacob, do you want to come give your vote? Wait, Tim can't win. That's not... I can't win. Tim's not in the vote. It's me, Jacob, and Harry. We're going to score this on a scale of 1 through 10. Okay. Are we doing top three or what? Uh, those, we can't score those, yeah. Unfortunately, these are disqualified. Um, so I'm going to start I'm gonna start uh, from left to right. I believe this is Odell's. Yeah. Uh, yes. So I'm going to give Odell's a 6.3 out of 10. He had the right idea. Unfortunately, the rice is just way too much rice. The walls are misshapen. There's not enough sauce. Um, the chicken is cut really fine, which actually will cause it to not give that crunch that we're looking for. So 6.3 out of 10 for me. Put it on the scoreboard. Okay, let, let's talk about Ashwin's. A little too much rice, not enough sauce, but the meat to rice ratio is excellent. It held together. So I'm going to have to give that a 7.6 out of 10. And then Tim's, you already know Tim's is a 10 out of 10, baby. 10 out of 10. Easy. Harry, do you want to give your give right. the judgment? Yes, sir. So I might score this a little differently. I would say Odell, it's a five. Way too much rice. And then I would give Ashwin a seven, a solid seven. Great meat ratio, just not enough sauce. And then for Tim, you know, 10 out of 10 always. Onigiri master. You should have given me a 9.7 on there. Get these two. Let me see these. Let me see these. Let's talk to the. Let's talk to the guy, bro. All right. Can we get a camera on the guy? Yo, Tim, how'd you do this? How'd you get so far? How'd you become so great? Dude, you just gotta spend the time behind the counter, mm. working with the rice, playing mm. with it. You gotta know how that shit works. You put the playing sauce in it. You put the meat in it. You gotta make it feel nice. With any skill, repetition and perseverance are gonna show. These are Tim lessons. has made thousands of rice balls. He is a master. I think that has built my character. And building really, rice really balls. fast, let's get the head chef's rating so we can yeah. get the third person here. Yeah. That's All my right. head chef. So this is Odell's right here. Yeah, man. The first one. It's it's us. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> way too much rice. Wait, but you already know. Give me the rating though. Um, you got kind of a heart shape, so I'll give you brownie points for that. Fuck. So I'll give you I'll give you a six What's for up, sure. DQ. <laughs> and this is Ushwin's. Um, personally, I really thirsty? like the garnish on top. Thank I think that's going to be another <laughs> another brownie <laughs> point for you. Boy. That's a that's a chef's yes sir. That's a chef's thing, okay? Chef's kiss. Yeah, chef's kiss. Um, Creativity. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a seven point six. Let's go. You just need a little more sauce, maybe a little less rice towards the top here. Okay. okay. But other than that, really. Really proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And then Tim's, of course. Ten out of ten. Yes, sir. Ten, ten out of ten. This is This is not bias at, of any way. All right, I, I think the verdict is in. Congratulations, Ashwin. Yo. One thing about me, I'll be I'll be cooking. Hey, let him cook. Hey, if you ever let need a cook. job, let us know. Bro, hey. low key, I might have to. <laughs> hey, hey, people work two jobs. Hey, this is the only true. person that don't come here once a week. <laughs> Damn. Man, you, got, you, you got disqualified. Damn, bro. E Eon got disqualified, bro. Okay. And you come here the most, bro. <laughs> You're a fake fan, bro. I, just, I even got I got on the board. I made the podium. I made the podium. <laughs> I feel like I made my. I feel like I, I disappointed my guys. You know. Oh my god. I, I, I'm just, I'm disappointed. Hey, you, uh, I, you still got the, you know, the, the bronze? I thought I had it. You didn't get the bronze? 
We'll, we'll, we'll give him a tie oh, for bronze. Oh, we'll give him okay. a tie for bronze. Yes, 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 oh. yes, yes, yes. I'll take it. 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 I'm going to bribe the judges. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't be mad. I think that's it, though. All right. Yeah. I think we got it. We got it? And that's it. Wow. There it is. Thank y'all. Are we Gucci? Yeah. <laughs> my man, <laughs> my man is hungry. Hamza, did y'all want to try the food? Yeah. Do you want to try some stuff? We have new Hawaiian plates and stuff. Y'all want to try the food? Yeah. yeah. Yo, y'all want to do a trying thing? Two big plates. Two big. Do we need to clap or something? Hold on, hold on. I got. Let me get in here. Let me get in the frame. Something's not working? Huh? You couldn't fix a water heater? No, Jim, you killed that. Jim, you gotta throw that go go sauce on there. Ooh. Serve it to the chef. Serve it to the chef. I just mixed it together. Oh my god. Yo, Tim, can you like. Y'all can give us the real reaction to If something's not good, let us know. You know, I don't take feedback personally. I got you. I got you. You got something that we can make it. I don't know how to make it. Y'all make yeah, a marinade yeah, yeah, and yeah, everything yeah, yeah, in house, yeah. right? Let them cook. Yeah. Let me get the sideline. Like, uh, you can still sideline with it. We are. Oh, no, yo. Yeah. We're over here doing some sideline stuff. Put some Asian pear in there. We got some. We got the yeah. owner in the kitchen right now, it's and the so owner is doing the conversation. He's gonna show y'all how it's done. Oh, okay, okay. I have the no master is gonna show <laughs> the audience. We're good. Not my people going. Oh, bro. I'm off. I guess so right now, Harry is uh, gonna cook up a nice little fresh batch. We're not going to time them. We're going off of pure pure faith, I think. Or are, are we timing? We can time them, We right? can time them. Let's, let's, let's time. compare them to the average, oh, right? Oh, God. Does, do we start now? Uh, start now, yeah. He, the mold is on the I'm platter. There. You go. Okay. Oh, damn. He's already oh, thumbed, look at in, him go. thumbed in. This man knows what he's doing. Thumbed you can tell in. already. He's done this a million times. He's rotating. He's, he's using his thumbs to get in the corner. That's what we we're looking for that That's none the of the key. contestants had. No, we did he's not. He's really building that even wall, which is what we're looking for. We want to see it straight from top to bottom. The wall was definitely the hardest part of the whole. The wall, and, and the, we never we never did the kind of we never did the where you use the thumbs to close it up. We never did so that. That's a pretty advanced technique. We're not expecting even normal employees to know how to do that. Okay. So. Bonus so, points to whoever did that. I think that was Usher. Yeah. He, he, he won for a reason. He did win them for a reason. The whole oh, shake, oh, the man. shake test, the shake test is what really just took, that everybody, took out. everybody out the game. Yeah, and if, if you get in there, you see he's really pressing into the corners. See, he's that was pressing our problem. That, that rice upwards. We were going for speed and, and not his, for his walls foundation. are going straight to the top, so he's going to be able to curve those walls in on the ingredients to provide uh, the first layer of support. Oh, Tim's yeah. doing one too. Tim's going back at it. He just hasn't had enough. He's stepping Tim back in the kitchen. Tim is just cold, though. Hey, by request, though. Low key, yeah. We did want Tim to do some more. Oh God, we wanted see, Tim Harry's, to cook Harry's up. See, Harry's putting the meat about thirty-five percent up the rice bowl. Oh, He's yes. leaving plenty he of room for sauce. Wait, double sauce. He's leaving sauce? plenty of room for that other layer of meat to insulate the sauce. Oh my gosh, so many things are happening. So many flavors. He's going with the sweet and savory sauce. That's a great choice. Just enough sauce. It looks scrumdily delicious. He's going with the sriracha. But you see, he left enough space to add that second sauce. I didn't do that. Oh, Tim, oh, you know. that's crazy. Oh, look at that. What you that was like crazy. That was crazy. You see, most, most people would stop here, but Tim identified issues. He saw the meat was poking through, so now he's going back to provide additional support. And Harry's going for the good crunch method. You got to have the crunch because you said if it's cut too small, you don't get the crunch. Very true. Okay. Okay. See, I'm logged the fuck there's in. A, there's a science to this. I'm logged the fuck it in. It really is. Literally. Until we can get robots, right? <laughs> the robots are going to be crazy. <laughs> Will uh, Will Gogo Giri be implementing? Um, yeah. Are you guys pro robot? Yeah. Pro robot? Mm-hmm. Are you guys pro robot? We we are <laughs> we pro robot multiple. and pro human. We want to make sure that we can provide the best possible working experience to our employees. So by cutting it down to one to two people and adding automation, we can pay our employees a much higher salary. Ah, there you go. And we're we're really not about replacing people. We're about empowering people to make better products. There you go. And you see what Harry's doing here that none of the contestants did is he's hand shaping it to provide that beveled edge that we're looking for and to make sure that the shape is consistent. Oh, now that's you gotta see Tim's is already this done is an and, art form. And, and Tim's is just Tim's is perfect. I mean, look at that. 
Y'all should host, um, like, Onigiri making competitions. Dude, we should do anything. I mean, <laughs> or, or the issue's like, we don't have a social guy who's doing that right now. Hey, if y'all trying to, anything y'all trying to do here, you're welcome anytime. I appreciate it, brother. Look at that. Yeah. That's Man. looking good. Oh, God one, damn. One more. Order, order, up. order up. What's what's the time on Tim's? That was two twenty. Let fuck. me see. Fast as fuck. Damn, it's about three minutes. No, no, that was. I think it was fast. Dude, Tim's too. I think he, I, he was, I think they started at two twenty. He was finished he before the cutting. I think you know. Yeah, so. I think he started. I think his is just low. Oh, he's going. He's making Look it up, one. Tim. We love Tim. Shout out Tim. Shout out Gogo Geary. Shout out everybody. Shout out Tim, shout out Ian, shout out Harry, shout out Jacob. Big spread. How's it looking? How's it looking? Look at that. Solid, solid. Jacob, are you throwing on the galvi? Cheers. Y'all doing a... You can see, even though the onigiri is cut in half, it's still holding still together. Yeah, look Wait. at that. He's, look at the he's, structural he's integrity right there. You see what I'm saying? Bruh. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Bruh. Hey. Cheers. Club soda. Man. What's the verdict? Man. Hey. I think the best part is the sauce inside, bro. Because then you don't got to dip shit, and it's just there. Yes, sir. Mashallah. Can we, can we get a one Wallahi, out of ten? this is delicious. Can we get a one out of ten on this? <laughs> this is a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That's I'm usually like more of the Wagyu beef. If you guys come here, that's my go-to, the Wagyu beef on the gree. Oh, no, but, you know, I can't ever fight a little katsu chicken, you know the what I'm crunch. saying? Give me that. Give me that. Let me get that right there. The crunch? That's what That's what sold it. That's what I see what you're saying. You're the, ah. Ten out of ten. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. This was really awesome doing it with our homies that we went to college with. So definitely come check these guys out. Address right here. Um, you know, if you guys want to invest, they're open to that too. But definitely come check these guys out. Go Go Gary Dallas. Thank yes, you, sir. Woo! Good shit. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Where's Harry? Yeah. Inshallah. 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 You can just like edit his face on something. <laughs> <laughs>that brings us to the end of another episode on the listen buddy podcast if you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button reach out on all social platforms at listen buddy podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below stay tuned for more episodes every friday and as always listen buddy